You could spend hours inside the fascinating Museum of Military History in Kissimmee. Laid out chronologically, your tour starts with the Revolutionary War, then moves to the War of 1812, then the Civil War. We have the Confederacy over here, the Union soldiers over here. Uh, over there on the glass case, we have an authentic Civil War Confederacy uniform. Um, I have uh, authentic uh, bayonets in the case. The museum's executive director, Chris Robertson, joined us live on Good Day Orlando to walk us through the ever-expanding 10,000 square foot attraction. World War I and II are amply covered, so is Korea, Vietnam, and modern wars. Robertson also brought with him a group of veterans to recognize. We met Clarence Corky Corker, a photographer with the short-lived U.S. Navy Armed Guard Branch. General Eisenhower with Mayor LaGuardia. Look at the stare he's given you. That was taken at the City Hall in New York City. Mm. And uh, he was getting ready to come up the stairs and I just took his picture when he was there looking at me. What do you think he was thinking? I had no idea, sir. <laughs> and Mayor LaGuardia was alongside of him. Yeah. Vietnam vet and District 15 State Senator Victor Torres Jr. shared his hopes for the future of this country. Hopefully uh, we can all unite um, peacefully. Uh, hopefully uh, we can, we suffered a lot in the last year and a half of the pandemic and uh, the uh, unemployment debacle. Uh, we need to make sure people we get back to work, good jobs, our kids go to school, uh, good, good careers in the future. Iraq War veteran Robert Callison spent 11 years in the Marines and four years in the Army. He's also a docent at the museum and full of amazing stories. My wife was in the Army as well at the time in Germany. She was waiting for casualties. She was at the 97th General Hospital in Frankfurt, German, Germany, waiting for um, casualties. And you know, as you said, because of the 24 hour, the news, she knew the war was over before I did. Tickets start at just $12 for this humbling walk back in time. On 192 in Kissimmee, David Martin, Fox 35 News.